It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to this special edition of Science Bowl. The two teams you're about to meet have won once already and today's winner comes back as the first of the four finalists in this year's elementary school competition. Let's meet the teams now. First from Avalon Elementary, please say hello to Ariana Elmore, Jonathan LeGrant, and Jamisha Norman. And from Rockledge Elementary School, Nadja Clark, Autumn Wilson, and Bradley Lineski. And now here are the categories of questions we use on Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen sink. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, our game board reflects question difficulty with the easier questions worth five and 10 points, the tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25. Our team start out with 50 points apiece, no penalties ever for incorrect answers. Into the two rounds, we will have the first of our finalists. So we have a lot at stake today. And let me just say congratulations for having made it this far in our competition. You guys are terrific. Let's make sure everything works right. Avalon, you try your buzzer. Thank you. Looks like it's in good shape there. They got a second one in for good measure. And Rockledge, would you try yours, Autumn? All right, it too seems to be in fine shape. Are we ready to play? Yes. Yes. Let's do it. May the better team win, and both of you are just terrific. We go alphabetically A before R, so Avalon, let's play the science bowl. Jonathan, would you start us out? Green things for five. Green things for five points. On science bowl, if you're really stumped and you can't come up with the answer, you're said to be up a what? Avalon. Tree. Up a tree, that's right. You guys are rarely up a tree. Go red. Um, zoo parade for five. Zoo parade for five points. Teams, what? Insect famously mistakes the flame of a candle for the moon. Avalon. Moth. moth. A moth, like a moth to the flame. That's right. Confuses it with a celestial body and sometimes pays the ultimate price. Fried moth. Go red. Body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, 56 days after you donate a pint of this, you can do it again. Rockledge. Blood. Blood. You can donate blood once every 56 days. Good. Go. Green. Body systems for 10 points. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, your uh, question is as follows. Inside of your kidneys are small triangle-shaped compartments that are called the same name as these famous Egyptian monuments. Avalon. Pyramids. Pyramids. Yes, the renal pyramids. Absolutely right. Good. Red. Um, let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, these large collections of billions of stars held together by gravitation, Rockledge. Galaxy. Galaxy? They are indeed galaxies, yes. I was going to say, in a, dis in a place far, far away, like in Star Wars, but you beat me to it. 60 to 70, advantage green, go. Science potpourri for five points. Potpourri for five points. Teams, for scientists to track elusive animals like jaguars through the jungle, they are attaching to them the same devices we have on our dashboard so we don't get lost. Avalon. GPS. GPS, that's right. They're putting them on top of animals so we can know where they are at all times. Go red. Dateline for five. Dateline for five points. Teams, soon joining seat belts and airbags as required equipment in automobiles will be De detectors that can sense through your skin and your breath whether or not you have had any of this. Rockledge. Alcohol. Yes, and if you have, if it's above 0.8%, the car will not turn on. Good, go, green. Science potpourri for 10 points. Potpourri for 10 points. Teams, 
Vitamin E is the fallen hero. We know it doesn't do as much as we thought it did, but the rising star is this other vitamin we, as vitamin we associate with sunshine, Avalon. Vitamin D. Vitamin D, that's right, which we get very little of because we're not outdoors enough. 85-65, advantage red. Let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points, teams. What branch of science would you learn an awful lot about if you went to the playground and went on the slide and the swings? Avalon? Motion. Give me more. Gravity. Gravity. Force. Not quite, not quite. Rockledge, what branch of science would you learn a lot about if you went to a playground and rode the slide and the swings and the seesaw? Uh, Passes the rally. Physics? Physics is what I want to hear. That's exactly right. Okay, good comeback there, guys. Go. Green. Dateline science for 10 points. Dateline for 10 points, teams. The big science stories over the past 30 years have been acid rain, global warming, and a hole in this layer. Autumn. Ozone? Ozone is what I want to hear. Yes, indeed. You could hardly turn on the television without hearing about a hole in the ozone layer, exposing us to too much ultraviolet radiation. All right, 85 all. Tie score. Green. Green things for 10 points. Green things for 10. Teams, this green thing supposedly does not gather on a rolling stone and is a natural compass. Rockledge. Moss. Moss, yeah, because it always grows on the north side of trees in the northern hemisphere. Okay, small lead. Rockledge. Zooprey for 10 points. Zooprey for 10 points, teams. Question is as follows. In the new movie, Rango, Johnny Depp plays a chameleon, and he goes up to a frog and he says, we reptiles got to stick together. Rockledge. Amphibian. The frog says, I'm no reptile, I'm an amphibian. That's right, good, go, green. Oh, the buzzer is rung. Our first round is over. Oh, it's a tight game, just as we expected. Avalon 85, Rockledge 105. We'll be back with round two in just a moment. Don't you go away. And welcome back to Science Bowl. A very important game today. Today's winner goes on to the finals here in our elementary competition. And what a great game it has been. We're going to give our players a few moments to just relax. We're going to ask a few personal questions. If you've not met these young people on television earlier this season, let's introduce them to you now. Let's go over to Avalon Elementary School down in the Fort Washington area. And Jonathan, how is it that your team is so good? This is like your fourth appearance this year. You must practice a lot. Um, yes, we practice uh, daily, um, every week, Mondays and Fridays for one hour, and on Monday before the competition, we practice the whole day until three. Wow, wow. And it shows. You complement each other so well. All of you have different strengths, and uh, you're very quick on that buzzer, too. Who's your principal down at Avalon? Dr. Diane Bruce. Absolutely. And Ms. Mercy Alzate and Ms. Boxley are here, your sponsors, and they're going to be out in a few moments. Do you have any alternates on your team? Yes, DeAndre Vaden, Gary Alexi, and Jeremiah Gray. Wonderful. And it's kind of a shadow team, and they're going to be out. You look very nice today in your matching uniform, as you always do when you come on our show here. Jonathan hails from a military family and hopes to follow in the footsteps of his dad, correct? Yes. What would you like to do? Uh, it's the Army, correct? Yes. What would you like to do in the Army? Um, I would like to help out with the planes. Yeah, because I know you told me your dad was an engineer, an aeronautical engineer, so that seems like a natural place for you to go, and uh, it's nice that you're following in his footsteps. Jamisha, nice to have you here. This is a young lady who has some very unusual ideas for some artwork, some pottery, some sculptures. Tell us about that. Well, for Christmas this last year, I got a pottery making table. Mm. Um, so I know I was just looking at this show, about animals, and then I just pictured a human body onto that um, onto an animal, and then I said I should put um, as a design for the pottery. I should put that on the pottery. I see. And she told me earlier that she would like to see my head on the body of a tiger. Is that right? Mm -hmm. It will be named a tiger. Z oh, a z oh. <laughs> she's thinking, folks. She is thinking. We got some hybrid creature coming up here. <laughs> nice to have you back, Ariana. Nice to have you here. Tell us about your future plans. Well, I want to be a scientist, an inventor, and a chemist. Yeah. Tell me about chemistry. How'd you get interested in chemistry? I started reading about chemistry some days, so I just, I just thought about, I just started thinking about that a lot, and I just thought I wanted to be that. And, you know, chemistry is involved in so much. Practically everything we do, cooking is chemistry, you know, the clothes we wear, uh, the things we wash with and all our houses, everything is involved with chemistry. So that's a good field to want to pursue. You like to read, don't you? Mm -hmm. What kind of books do you like? 
Yeah. Mostly I like to read fantasy books. Fantasy books. Very good. You play a real nice game. Rockledge, nice to have you guys back with your matching Rockledge Rocks shirts over there. Your visors, you're looking good. You play well. Autumn, what's your secret? How do you get so good at this game? Um, we have science will practice Tuesdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mm -hmm. Sometimes on weekends. Doesn't happen a lot, but sometimes it does. And uh, right before, we always watch videos. And then when a team rings in, Miss Kerner pauses it, and we have to try to answer. Wow. And I learned that you guys have watched Avalon online. And Avalon, I know you have watched Rockledge online, right? So you know the foe. You're like football teams that you looked at the tapes before the game. I appreciate that. That's why you guys know each other so well here. Autumn, tell us about Rockledge. You're down there in Bowie. Who's your principal? Mrs. Landry. Wonderful. And the sponsor of your team is Miss Kerner. Mm -hmm. And Miss Kerner uh, has very nicely made sure that everybody on the team has had a chance to play. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So who are the alternates now that we don't see? Julia Forbes and Grace Avalos. That's wonderful. And Nadja, you were an alternate. It's nice to see you on set. We'll find out about you in just a second. But Autumn, just clue us in. What do you want to do when you get older? I want to be a lawyer in the prosecution for murder and kidnapping cases. So you're going to go in for the big stuff. Yeah, where people's lives are at stake, and uh, I like your confidence. You just have, you just radiate confidence, and uh, you do such a nice job as the captain over there. Naja, tell us the Naja story. What do you do in your spare time? Um, I like to sing and read and play the Wii. And do what? And play, play the Wii. Wii. Very good. And why did you want to be on our show? Um, well, from the past players, I saw that they really were interested in it, so... I really like their enthusiasm and I really Yeah, well you're bringing enthusiasm today. You're a good addition to this team. What do you want to do when you get older? I want to be a singer or a pediatrician. Wow. Do you sing now? Yes. Yeah, so you've got some stage presence already. That's why you look so confident over there. And Bradley, he's confident because he's, uh, he's out there. You're a baseball player, aren't you? Yeah. What position you play? Catcher. Catcher, catcher. yeah. And he wants to grow up and be a catcher for the Boston Red Sox. That's his dream team. And in addition to playing professional ball, do you have some other professional goals out there, Bradley? Uh, I would, if I don't get that, number two, I'd like to go into sports medicine. And number three, I might be able to go into baseball. Baseball. I mean, not baseball, but football. <laughs> football, all right. So you got the sports theme going on there. And you got some contingency plans. You have such a great sense of humor. Are you fun around the house too, Bradley? Yeah. I'll bet you are. Well, keep up your good play in here. Let's get back to our game. Rockledge 105, Avalon 85. Lots of points to give away. All the 15, 20, and 25 pointers remain. Let's have a good second round here. Go green. Start us out. Autumn. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, the sound of your voice is determined by the shape of your throat and your mouth and your nose, and also by these spaces. Rockledge. Vocal cords. Not your vocal cords. The quality of your voice is determined by the shape of your mouth and your nose and your throat, but also it's determined by these spaces that fill your skull. What are they? No. Sinuses. Sinuses, yeah, the things that famously get all stuffed up in the wintertime. Sinuses is what we wanted. Good, you're up to 100 points, almost tied again. Go, Jonathan. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, what plants have not reproduced sexually for, hmm, Avalon? Asexual? No, uh, you jumped in a little too soon there. Rockledge, what plants have not reproduced sexually for generations because people who drink wine want to make sure the wine is always the same from year to year to year, and the wine comes from what kind of plants? Grapes. Grapes, yeah, grapes have had no sex in a long time. Okay, go, green. Science potpourri for 15 points. Science potpourri for 15. Teams, your question is as follows. What same word means the fourth state of matter, the liquid part, Avalon? Plasma. Plasma, yeah, the liquid part of your blood and the newest kind of television, plasma. You got them all. You didn't even need all my clues. Go, Jonathan. Zuparate for 15. Zuparate for 15 points. Teams, modern day sperm whales are different from their ancestors because their teeth today are rather small. But back then, their teeth were large, like what modern day, Avalon? What do you think? Modern day blue whale? Not blue whale. Good try. What modern day carnivorous whales did the ancient sperm whales resemble? Killer whale? Killer whale. Absolutely right. Killer whales or orcas. We would have accepted either. Go. Green. 
Dateline signs for 15 points. Dateline for 15 points. Teams, what generating, energy generating machines that we associate with Holland and the character Don Quixote? Avalon? Windmills. Windmills, yes, are soon, we think, going to be off the coast of Ocean City generating electricity for us. Thank you, Ariana, for your assist. Go green. 130, 135. Jonathan, or Let's red, get rather. 15. Let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, look at the monitor in the studio, please. Teams, this rose, which is being shattered by a bullet, was frozen by the liquefied part. Avalon? Nitrogen? Nitrogen, yes. Liquid nitrogen. You can dip a banana in and the same thing will happen. If you drop it, it will shatter. Nicely done. Red. Green things for 20. Green, green things. 20 points, teams. Today's buildings that are green, environmentally green, have floors that are made from this substance that is the outermost substance on the bark of a tree. The outermost part of the bark, Avalon. Oops. Trunk? Not trunk, good try. The outermost part of the bark of a tree is what is used to make the floors in buildings that are environmentally green. Sap? Cork. Cork is what it's used for. The cork oak in particular. Go red. Yes, Jonathan. Zubray for 20. Zuprate for 20 points. Teams, the Cooper's hawk that recently got loose in the dome of the Library of Congress is, like other hawks and eagles, what kind of R-initialed bird? What kind of R-initialed bird, Avalon? Raven. Not a raven. Good try. What kind of R initialed bird is a hawk and an eagle and that Cooper's hawk that they found inside of that Library of Congress dome? Raptors. Raptors is what we're looking for. Try again. Red. Z body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, if you're allergic to milk, you have problems with your immune system. But if you are lactose intolerant, it's because you lack what kind of catalytic chemical in your body, Avalon. Calcium? Now, calcium, no. What kind of catalytic chemical are you lacking if you cannot digest milk if you are intolerant of milk as opposed to allergic to it? Tough question. Enzyme. You're lacking an enzyme to break down that milk sugar into something that is more digestible. Go again. Red. We're stuck at 145, 135. Jonathan, again. Science potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. Teams, the famed novelist Vladimir Nabokov is now being celebrated after his death as also a famous lepidopterist because he studied what beautiful insects? Avalon. Butterfly? Yes, he was a butterfly expert on top of being a wonderful novelist. Yes, sir. Go. Uh, Dateline for 20. Dateline for 20 points, teams. This year, 2011, is the 25th anniversary of the explosion of this space shuttle. Rockledge. The Challenger. The Challenger. Absolutely right. Good. You jumped right on that one. Good. Rockledge, you're up to 155 points. 165 for Avalon. Go green. Let's get physical for 20 points. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, two-part answer. Of the eight planets in our solar system, what two are known as the little Avalon. Uranus and Neptune. Uranus and Neptune, absolutely right. The little giants, you read my mind. Go, red. Uh, green things for 25. Green things for 25, big one in that category, teams. The mangrove plant lives right at the edge of the ocean. And this happens in its seeds before they drop to the ground because they have to immediately anchor themselves lest they be washed out to sea. What G initial term? Avalon. Germinate. Germinate. They have to germinate but while they're still up on the limbs. Yes, indeed. Go. Red. Dateline signs for 25. Dateline for 25. The big one in that category. Teams, listen carefully. Louis Pasteur, the famous French scientist who was associated with milk purification, also invented the first vaccine for a disease called hydrophobia, which is better known as Avalon. Rabies. Rabies. Absolutely. Yes, sir. You got that one. Go, Red. Let's get physical for 25. Let's get physical for 25 points. Teams, I'll give you 25 points if you can tell me, during a total lunar eclipse, why does the moon disappear? Why does the moon disappear during a total lunar eclipse? Avalon? Because the sun gets in the way of the moon and the earth. The sun gets in the way of the moon and the earth. Judges. No, no. Rockledge, during a total lunar eclipse, why does the moon disappear? Yes, ma'am. The sun blocks it? No. The earth blocks the light from the sun, so the shadow of the earth is what covers up the moon. That's why it disappears. Good try, but no points. Red again. Zuparate for 25. Zuparate for 25. Big one in that category, teams. 
A bird flight is powered by these chest muscles that have the same name as ours. Avalon. Um, the pectorals? Pectoral muscles, they are. Yes, sir. Go. Body systems for 25. Body systems for 25 points. Teams, your question is as follows. Famed music critic, famed movie critic Roger Ebert now wears an artificial chin because cancer attacked his salivary glands and also this nearby endocrine gland. For 25 points, what is that other gland? Yes, Rockledge. I'll pass it to Bradley. Thyroid. Thyroid, you got it, young man. Last question of the game. Science Pope brief for 25 points. Here it is. Look at the monitor in the studio, please. At the 1965 New York City World's Fair, they were dismantling the dinosaurs. Back then, this, this Apatosaurus was known by what other more familiar name? Last question of the game. Avalon, the Apatosaurus back then was known as? Long neck. Long neck, no. What was the name of Apatosaurus back then in 1965 before they changed it? What do you think? It is the Brontosaurus, the Brontosaurus. Some people still call it by that name. It seems to make no difference because Avalon has been soaring. It looks like they're going on to the finals. We'll be back in a moment. Don't go away. And welcome back to Science Bowl. You know, these are some of the very best games we ever have here because not only do we have six outstanding young people, not only are they academically where they should be, but socially they've been good sports. They're congratulating each other. They just know what is important in life, and we respect them and we applaud them for that. Our final tally today is Rockledge 180, Avalon 260. You're headed to the finals. Ariana and Jonathan and Jamisha, congratulations. Miss Alzate, Miss Boxley, absolutely. Give them a hand. Jeremiah and DeAndre and Garen, congratulations. And let's give a nice round of applause for Rockledge, Naja, and Autumn, and Bradley, Julia, and Grace, and Miss Kerner. What a super time we've had having you guys here. You are amazing. You're amazing as well, all of you that tuned in. I hope you'll be with us all the way through to our finals here today and next year and for the following next couple of weeks. See you then. Bye-bye.